what is aware of this sound arising in your experience? What is aware of the sound and feel of breathing? What is aware of the sensations of the outline of the body? What is aware that experience is happening? Surrender your attachment to the dialogue in the mind. The dialogue in the mind cannot grasp this. The dialogue in the mind is not what is aware of experience. What is aware of the dialogue? Don't consider the mind to be an obstacle to this practice. Use it. Meaning, see also what is aware of the mind. The mind, too is an experience happening. What knows that experience? Is your knowing not already prior to subtler than the mind that is being known? What is it that knows the coming and going of thoughts? You do not have to achieve that. Are you not already that which knows the coming and going of thoughts? But what exactly is this me that knows the coming and going of thought? Surrender your attachment to thinking. You are not the thinking that is arising and trying to grasp what knows the thinking. You do not do thinking. Thinking is not you or yours. It's just thinking. What knows the appearing and disappearing of this thinking?
Don't try to figure out what knows experience. Be that which knows experience. Notice that you are aware of experience happening. If something is wondering what to do about this, how to hold on to this, how to go deeper into this, that too is a thought you are aware of. Don't consider it to be relevant. Don't take it to be what you are. Notice yourself as the knower of it. There's nothing for you to do or figure out or hold on to. That which is aware of experience is not the body. It's also not the body's possession. You are not a body that has awareness. You are not aware of experience as the body. The body is an experience that you are aware of.
once again, you are not a body that has awareness. The body is an experience, a changeful experience that you are changelessly aware of. You are not a thinker that has awareness. You are not a thinker that has awareness. Thinking is an experience that you are aware of. Give up the body-mind identity. Stop persisting on this thought-made belief that I am the body and mind. Give up this self-image. This image is a concept. This image is constantly changeful. This image is a changeful experience you are aware of. Whatever the mind thinks about this is irrelevant. Stop taking yourself to be the mind and entertaining yourself with thoughts. Snap out of it, let it go, and recognize yourself as that which sees the appearance and disappearance of thoughts. that which is aware of thought yet is not invested
we have to give ourselves this gift every single day. Know in your heart so deeply that you are not anything inside of this experience. I appear to be the body-mind journeying in a world, but that is not the truth of what I am. Hold no attachment to what the world has told you that you are or what your experience has convinced you that you appear to be. Take no self-definition seriously. All roles and responsibilities and identities only belong to the body. Your race or nationality, religion, occupation, all these only belong to the body. Don't for a second take them to be what you are. And don't for a second take yourself to be the body. Let the body's life continue to unfold and use its unfolding to discover your real identity. About your real self, you know nothing other than I am. I, the self, am. So as often as you remember, just be. And notice how when you just are, no identity is at play in that moment. Your knowing, which is awareness, and the fact that you are, which is being. Don't take this for granted. These are the only two things that are in this world, but they are not of this world at all. They are the closest that we can come to touching reality or God or truth. 
everything else is illusion. It passes. It's impermanent. It appears to be, but it never actually was. I hope you enjoyed that meditation. If you would like to grow your self-inquiry practice, join our free community or enroll in our self-inquiry school. See you next time.